Once you've applied the dimensioning you need on your network using Autofluid's computation commands, then start drawing using the Underslab Piping toolbar. Right-clicking on one of the toolbars gives access to the mall. Let's place a distribution box here in order to insert the distribution manifold. We can position the manifold inside the box or freely. If so, then specify the start number. Now let's start routing. Here you will define your set of underslab pipes. Let's add cold water. Right click to indicate the path of the network. Pick up on manifold. Then draw your network as if you drew a line. If you made a mistake, simply click backwards on the network to cancel the last command and start the current routing again. Right click and choose stop and continue without distorting. Then, for instance, let's select only two ducts of the set to continue the routing. Let's restart the command. The benefit of this command is to position a duct in isolation from the others so that the rest of the original set remains untouched and well drafted. Right click on stop and continue to only continue the latest one, for example. Let's go backwards. and quit. The cut and the move commands can be used on a network that's already drafted. You can also add a network that will be based on an existing network. Let's offset this network. Pick up button. And then quit. Let's annotate the sections to create a bill of materials for this network. Choose the specification and the diameter. Here it will be DN25 for these ducts and then DN20 for these. Launch the bill of material available in AutoCAD as well as in Excel. And here is the result.